Hi guys and welcome to Symbotech Working Bench. Today we're gonna look at this uh, H8 Scott amplifier, vacuum tube amplifier. It's uh, visual, bring it to me because uh, it's a real mess. So someone tried to modify to different tubes. I noticed also that the output transformers are not the one in the schematic. The power supply was high. So without further ado, let's give a quick uh, closer look to this amplifier. This is the amplifier, H8 Scott. I removed the tubes because, uh, as I mentioned, the transformer putting too much high voltage and I'm afraid that they might, might destroy the tubes. So that's why I keep only the rectifier tube in because I'm working the power supply. Now let me also show you the bottom side where are the components and I'm gonna tell you what I notice what is modified over here. So here we go, this is a transformer that I'm gonna need to take it out and rewind because I have too much voltage coming from the anode. That is uh, now dual uh, 405 volts and then according with the schematic I should have only, so the, this is the rectifier board, so I should have only 462 volts on the output transformer and then uh, for the anode uh, of the tubes is 458 volts so it's quite high so that's why I need to take it down and start modify the transformer first step then here there is some resistors that are not the same like in the schematic the resistors here same I have also from the negative voltage is a bit quite high which is this side and also here there is some resistors that are not the same as I mentioned the output transformer on the schematic is showing me that has the center top and two ends here we have the center top which is the black one over there and then i have two uh, two ends and two ends for transformer so it's a five wire transformer five wire transformer which is different that's why i need to modify a bit this output because uh, it's not the same so i have transformer with five wires here not like only here three then the the bs over here according to the schematic they should be 50k and then are 200k these ones and I have another two that are for the balance, the BS. These one are alright but are not connected. How show me here? The 100 show me that all three ends are used. Here, how they wire, there is only two ends using those. So the, the one that uh, turn and the one end. So that's why I need a lot of modification in order to bring it back. How is this uh, schematic? So without further ado, let's start doing this transformer now.
Widening this transformer took me almost one day because I needed to take down all the widening and then rewiding and then so yeah one day until I finish it. I already soldered in place all the wire where they need to go so let's uh, double check the voltages now from the transformer and then we can carry on at least this because there is a lot of work to do in this uh, amplifier and it will gonna be a very long video and I decide to do more parts so in this part in the first episode it will gonna be all this block to be the voltages exactly like how it showed me over here so practically the power supply. After that we're gonna come with the next episode when I'm gonna do the final stage according with this uh, transformers uh, output transformer that are in uh, the amplifier not in the schematic because I need to modify a bit here and uh, to do also the the bias so please stay tuned subscribe activate the notification bell to don't miss also all the parts of this uh, journey on making this amplifier back to life let me bring the multimeter and start measuring the voltages around uh, the transformer to make sure I have the right voltages that I need to have so I'm going to use my new multimeter with 50,000 uh, counts the O1 XDM 1041 and a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video Owen is a company manufacturing test and measurement equipment and other more products and they operate since 1990 Team products are oscilloscopes waveform generators digital multimeters spectrum analyzers and more other products and for more information about owen and them products please check the link on the description below i'm really happy with this bench multimeter it's better than the other ones i can change the speed of the reading and uh, it's doing a really well job so let's first check the output of the transformer so first i need to check uh, the pin 4 and 6 from the rectifier tube and then i need to check uh, these two yellow wires which are the negative voltages for the amplifier and then i need to check the heater element from the rectifier tube and the heater element for the power tube so let's start with the voltage on the anode so here i have ac voltage 363 point something 364 point something and the other side should be almost the same so 363 something yeah so we are almost the same like one volt difference then let's see the voltage on the heating element so it's this pin and this pin so we should have uh, 5 volts almost, so 4.8. Yeah, it's almost there because the tube is in and uh, is drawing some power. Let me change this, uh, this uh, reading speed where it's more stable. So let's have a look now. So 4.9, so almost 5 volts, yeah. Let's see the voltage for the heating element of the power tubes. So is this pin with this pin and 6.6, .6. yeah, 6.6 .6 volts I need to have over there. So all the voltage is correct. So let me now start doing uh, these resistors and to make sure all these capacitors are okay and measure all these voltages between all these resistors. Same also for the negative voltage. And uh, I believe with this part, I will gonna end up like that. Then we're gonna do the next part with the other things. So let me start bringing all the components that I need because I say here is nothing like in the schematic and I purchased few resistors that I don't have in stock and few of them I have in stock so I'm gonna start doing this part. So according with the schematic for the anode voltage I have a transformer rectifier tube then 20 ohm resistor 10 watts that goes then the power to the output transformer then i have 270 ohms 3 watts resistor and then another capacitor to ground then i have 1.2 10 watts resistor and then we have the voltage that goes to the grid of the power tubes then we have uh, another 8k resistor 20 watts that goes to the another next capacitor to ground 4.7k 1 watt resistor another capacitor to ground 4.k resistor with another capacitor to ground and 33k resistor with another capacitor to ground and this is what i did so far so i have first resistor the 20 ohm over here then here goes to the capacitor to ground from here we have the 270 watts 5 watts resistor that goes to the second capacitor to ground 
and from here we have 1.2k resistor that goes with the 8k resistors and from 8k resistor we go to ground capacitor 4.7k 2 watts resistor to another capacitor and another 4.k resistor that goes to another capacitor at 33k to the other capacitor so here i am all done then let's see the negative voltage for schematic I have first resistor of 33k 5 watts to a capacitor to ground then I have 8 ohm 1 watt resistor capacitor to ground 8 ohm 1 watt resistor capacitor to ground and again 18 ohms resistor 1 watt to ground with capacitor so they should be this one so the negative from 33k resistor capacitor to ground 18 ohm resistor capacitor to ground 18 ohm resistor capacitor to ground and 18 ohm resistor capacitor to ground so it will gonna be now to do all this connection from here to do the connection to transformer from here to do the connection to the tubes but i will maybe have different because as i say i'm gonna try to use the transformer with the that are inside the output transformer that are different and then i need to do some a little modification here with this voltage maybe this voltage i don't need to get it from here i'm gonna get it from the output transformer and then i need to do all the connection to the other tubes so all these guys stay tuned please subscribe activate the notification bell because we're gonna see on the episode 2 of this series of this hh scott audio amplifier if you enjoy this video don't don't forget to give me a like please subscribe activate the notification bell like that i can see you on the next part of this series bye bye for now and have a good day bye bye